Miss Ariel here and you clicked on the biggest puddle in the world and this is by Mark Lee and illustrations are by Natalie Dion. Now this book is so big it's going to be hard to keep it in the frame okay so I might pop in and out while I'm reading the story okay. Charlie and I were staying with Granny B and my grandfather Big T for six whole days. Do you see him? The first day, we explored all the rooms in the big house. And then it started to rain. So the second day, we stayed inside and explored a few more places. But it kept raining. The third day, we played dress up. And the rain didn't stop. Charlie and I wanted to go outside, but there was too much rain. Big fat drops of it splattered on the ground and water gushed out of the gutter spout. Wow, have you seen that? I have. Where does the rain come from? I asked my grandfather. I'll show you when the storm passes, he said. But first, we'll have to find the biggest puddle in the world. The biggest puddle in the world? How big would that be? I guess we're gonna have to find out, huh? The next morning, batch, patches of sunlight appeared on the kitchen floor. Big T is outside with Keeper, Granny B said. After breakfast, you can go exploring. Ooh. Charlie and I found Big T chopping wood. We want to find the biggest puddle in the world, I said. Big T put down his axe. Then let's go look for it. The wet earth and the shiny grass smelled like spring. During the rain, a clump of mushrooms had popped up on a fallen log. Ooh. Do you like mushrooms? I do. You don't. You should try it. You might like it. There's a puddle, I said, and Keeper jumped in. It's not a very big puddle, Charlie said. I guess we'll have to keep searching, Big T said. Wildflowers had opened after the rain. Bees crawled inside them like little bubbles of buzz. Keeper found a puddle beneath a willow tree and Charlie and I jumped in it together. Ooh, that's a pretty big puddle, but is it the biggest puddle? I guess we'll have to find out. That was still a small puddle, I said. We need to find one bigger than that. Our grandfather smiled, follow the water. Charlie and I found a trickling coming from the puddle. And that combined with other trickles and fell into a stream. We followed the stream and it emptied into a pond. Water striders glide across the surface. In the shallows, tadpoles emerge from filmy white eggs. Ooh. The pond is like a big puddle. That's right, a lot of small puddles make a bigger one. Big T scooped up some water with his hand and dripped it onto a flat rock. Then he pulled out a pencil and a piece of paper and asked me to draw a puddle map. Oh look, what a great puddle map. When I was done with my map, I looked at the flat rock. The water had disappeared. Where did it go, I asked. Look up and you'll see. The water in the air becomes the clouds in the sky. This little pond makes all those big clouds? It's water from ponds and rivers and the biggest puddle in the world. I jumped up. Let's go find it. Oh, they're searching. On the other side of the pond, we found a river. We followed it through thorn bushes and down a muddy hill to a beach that faced the ocean, the biggest puddle in the world. Oh, there they go. They're running into it. The cold wind smelled like slippery seaweed. Waves rolled in with a rushing, hushing sound. Charlie touched my arm. You're it, he shouted, and we ran along the edge of the surf, kicking up spray. But it looks like they're back home. 
back at the house. We took our wet clothes and ate dinner at the big table. Granny B served blackberry pie with ice cream for dessert. Yummy. That night, a new storm arrived. Raindrops rattled on the roof and trickled down the window panes. And I was happy because the rain and the puddles and the pond and the ocean and Charlie and Keeper and my grandparents were all connected to me in a wonderful way. Charlie, I whispered, do you hear the rain? But he was already dreaming. The end. What a fun story about puddles. Have you jumped in puddles before? You haven't? You must try it. I insist. I have, and it is so much fun. <laughs> Don't forget to click around and see what else you can find.